Why is there a global silence on Hamas's stated aims? As we examine the complexities of the Israel-Hamas war, we notice a disturbing trend. The world is quick to lash out at Israel for unintended civilian casualties, yet turns a blind eye to Hamas's open agenda of eliminating Israel. This hypocrisy is glaring, given that unintended casualties are a sad but inevitable part of any war, including this one. But in this war, Israel is being held to an impossible double standard. That said, the question remains, will the world ever condemn Hamas's goal of eliminating Israel? Israel, in this conflict, has been placed in an unenviable position in a war it did not instigate. Yet, it has taken painstaking measures to preserve the safety of civilians, a testament to its respect for human life. Hamas's tactics, on the other hand, reflect a very different approach. Taking hostages, operating from terror tunnels, and the use of human shields, for instance, are deplorable practices that escalate the civilian toll. It's a strategy designed to support propaganda, and it is a testament to Hamas's disregard for human life. Hamas's stated objective, the elimination of Israel, repeatedly reminds us of the group's intent, a reality that is regularly overlooked. The world, it seems, is eager to point fingers at Israel for unintended casualties, but silent on the destructive aims of Hamas. These facts speak volumes about the true nature of the conflict. So, what does this all mean? It means it's time we shine a light on the world's hypocritical anti-Semitism, which holds Israel to an impossible standard. It's time we stopped overlooking the actions of Hamas and their stated aim of eradicating Israel. It's time we recognize that unintended casualties occur in every war, and that Israel has shown meticulous care for civilian safety. It's time to notice that the world has chosen to remain silent about what Hamas is about and what it has done. In the face of these realities, the world's silence becomes deafening.